Hello everyone, welcome to Tax Systems. In this video, we will talk about important documents used for the DMS. After watching this video, you will learn what are the important DMS documents used in the technical submittals. And then we will talk about schematic diagrams in details and IO list in details. So let's start the video. We have following important BMS documents which are used for the technical submittals and in the operation and maintenance manual. First of all, it is schematic diagram. Then we have input output or IO points list. Then we have riser diagram. And also material bill of quantity or BOQ is very important uh, for the technical submittal of BMS. Apart from the above, Data sheets of the field devices and other equipment are also very important for the technical submittals. In this video, we will talk about only schematic diagram and IO list. So first of all, what is a schematic diagram? It is a graphical representation of the equipment used in BMS, for example, AHU, chillers, exhaust fan and other equipment. It also provides information about the points of, uh, connected to the BMS for that equipment. It also provides information about types of the cables used for the BMS points. In today's video, we will talk about schematic diagram of a fresh air handling unit, exhaust fan and chilled water system. I talked about all these systems in my previous videos. So you can have a look at those videos for more information. So here we have a schematic diagram of a fresh air handling unit or FAHU. We will talk about all of its component in details. First of all, on left side, we have legends for this uh, schematic diagram where DPS stands for differential pressure switch, SD is for smoke detector, TS is temperature sensor, T and HS is duct temperature and humidity sensor, HUM is steam humidifier, and then we have uh, type of cables. T1 is a two conductor 18AWG shielded cable. T2 is a three conductor 18 AWG shielded cable. So now let's talk about the components of schematic diagram. First of all here fresh air damper is shown here which has two points. One is command point and another one is uh, monitoring point. Point type is also shown in schematic diagram. So first of all we have fresh air damper command which is using a T2 type cable because we need power supply and command for this uh, damper. And then we have fresh air damper status which use T1 type which are only two conductor uh, wire. Then we have pre-filter and bag filter dirty status. We are using a differential pressure switch for monitoring the uh, clean and dirty status of the filters. These are only the monitoring points as you can see here these are DI points. Okay, and we are using T1 cable because we need only two conductor cable here. Then we have a heating coil. For heating coil, we need analog output and analog input signals. An analog output signal is used to control the position of the valve, while analog input signal is used to read the feedback of the valve position. As you can see here that we are using T2 type cable for the control of this valve. It is because we need power supply for this control valve. So two wires are used for 24 volt power supply and one wire is used for the control. And then other two wires are used for the feedback, which is T1 type. So total we need five core cable or one two core or three co other three core cable for control and monitoring of this valve actuator. Similar is the case for the cooling valve actuator. So then we have supply fan. Here we have an MCC panel to control the supply fan. If you didn't watch my video about MCC panel, you can watch it by clicking the link on your screen. So here we have first of all start stop command for the fan. Uh, it is DO point. Then we have the trip status for the fan and the run status for the fan. All these points are connected to the MCC panel and then MCC panel is controlling the fan motor. After that we have an air flow status from a DPS installed directly on the fan. This provides the flow status uh, of the fan when it is running. 
then we have steam humidifier for steam humidifier we have only two points one is control point and it is analog output point to control the capacity of this steam humidifier and then we have a digital input point uh, to monitor the alarm from the steam humidifier steam humidifier usually have a built-in standalone controller which controls the steam humidifier we are only commanding and uh, monitoring points from that controller after that we have a temperature and humidity sensor installed in the supply duct so we are monitoring both these uh, points and these are analog input value and then there is a smoke signal from the smoke detector installed inside the uh, supply duct so this is the complete schematic diagram for a fresh air handling unit so now let's talk about exhaust fan schematic diagram here is the schematic diagram for an exhaust fan so same here we have an MCC panel and we are giving command to the MCC panel and we are reading the status about the run status and the alarm status from the MCC panel and then we have a DPS switch installed on the exhaust fan to monitor its flow status. Now here we have a schematic diagram for the chilled water system. It is a primary secondary chilled water system where secondary is variable speed and primary is constant speed. We talked about primary secondary chilled water system in details in my previous video. So you can watch that video by clicking the link on your screen. So here we will just little talk about its schematic diagram. So up till now you have the idea that what is a schematic diagram. First of all here we have primary pumps. We have four primary pumps and these primary pumps are connected to an MCC panel which is controlling the start and stop of the pumps. So we are here giving the command to the uh, pump and by we are monitoring the pump trip status and start stop status. And then we are monitoring the pump differential pressure switch status to know about the uh, pump flow status. When pump is running we, uh, we get signal from this DPS switch uh, through this DI point. Then we have chillers. Here we have four chillers. Okay, From each chiller we are monitoring the start stop status of the chiller and the general alarm of the state uh, general alarm status of the chiller and then we are giving enable disable command to each chiller and see, there we have also butterfly valves we are giving command and monitoring the status of the butterfly valve and then we are monitoring the flow uh, switch uh, status and then we are also monitoring the chiller uh, discharge water temperature for each chiller and here we have decoupler line where a flow meter is installed so we are reading the value of the flow meter using analog input point then we have secondary pumps uh, here we have the secondary pumps uh, where we are uh, giving start stop command and we are monitoring the status and trip status uh, sorry here vfd points are not shown but uh, since this is a primary secondary chill water system so there must be VFD here and we shall have two additional points for the VFD start uh, speed control and for the VFD feedback. So sorry I forgot to show here. And then we have a pump differential pressure switch similar to the primary chilled water pump. And then here is the return uh, chilled water temperature and then the uh, chiller supply temperature. And then here we have differential pressure transmitter to monitor the differential pressure between the main supply line and the main return line. So that's all for the schematic diagram. I hope you understand what are the schematic diagrams. Now we will discuss about the IO list for all these equipment. So here we have the IO list. This IO list provides the following information. First of all, we have the field devices. Any field device which is used here, we can uh, we write the model number here. So I am showing you the actual IO list uh, based on Honeywell uh, products. So all these models are, the, are from Honeywell. Okay, and then here we have the description of the point and here is the quantity of the field devices. Then we have DI points, uh, digital input points and then analog input points, DO digital output points and analog output points. And in the last we have the comment section so we can write any of the comments if we have. I have made this IO list for the fresh air handling unit which we just discussed uh, uh, earlier in the schematic diagram. So first of all here we have the fresh air damper and uh, we have fresh air damper command and feedback. These are DO and DI points. Then we have filters and uh, pre-filter and bag filter. 
for pre filter and back filter we are using dps 400 differential pressure switch and uh, these both are di points then we have valve control for the cooling valve and heating valve and we are also monitoring the feedback these are analog outputs and input points and we have mentioned the valve actuator used here so as I mentioned earlier, all these are actual model numbers from Honeywell. Then we have shown supply fan, uh, supply fan points where we have supply fan on off command, run status, trip status, airflow status. And similarly, other points are shown here. I don't want to make it uh, very long. Uh, so basically, I think you have got the idea that how uh, this IO list is built and what information it have. So similarly, here we have exhaust fan points. And in the last, we have here mentioned the total points of each type without spare. So these are DI, AI, DO, AO. All these points are shown here. And we have 17 points without spare. And then we have here information about the controller and the IO modules used here. Uh, I have shown here Excel Web 2 controller and the mix IO module used with it. Uh, usually, each DDC panel is provided with uh, spare points usually 20% spare points are provided. So we have calculated here this 20% uh, spare points and then we have total points with 20% spare points. This is a second DDC where uh, chilled water system is connected. So first of all, we have uh, points for the primary chilled water system. You can see here start stop command run status strip status and then we have differential pressure switch installed uh, on the pump and we have shown its model number. Then we have the chiller points uh, which are connected to the DDC and then for the decoupler we have a water flow meter and then we have scandry pumps where we have two additional points speed control and speed feedback for the VFDs. Uh, I forget to show those points in the schematic diagram but these uh, points will be there for primary scandry system and then here we have uh, monitoring points for the main headers for the supply uh, uh, header temperature return header temperature and for the differential pressure transmitter which is used to control the VFD of the secondary chill water pumps. So here similarly we have the points uh, summary without spares and then in the last we have total points with 20% spare points. So guys that's all for this video. If you find this video useful please give it a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated and help to bring new videos for you. So uh, see you in the next video.